Our today's crime story is about the Argentinian Sardash Ivesadu, a serial killer, who killed innocent people just for fun. His name is Keanu Santo Godino. The beast was born in Buenos Aires, Argentina, in 1896. Keanu Santo Godino was physically stunted with overly long arms and legs, jerk like ears that stuck out from his head, and a short body. He was the eighth boy of his alcoholic father. Fogodino. His father, Mr. Fogodino and his mother, Miss Lucia Ruffo, were both alcoholics and abusive in nature. Godino's father contracted syphilis before Godino's birth, it causes Godino to experience serious health problems in early stage of childhood. From the beginning of his life, childhood, Godino loved to kill animals and birds. He was also fond of playing with fire. His aggressive and violent behavior and less interest in education caused him to change many schools. In the childhood stage of his life, Godino beat one his friend, a two years old Miguel de Paoli and threw him into a ditch, at that time he was only seven years old. For this violent act, in the early stage of life he faced the police. A year later, of this incident, Godino again beat a child in his neighborhood, at this time he was only eight years old. He hit the child with a stone. This time Godino had been sent to jail, but he was released from jail just because of his young age. At the age of ten years, Godino's parents found that he is involved in compulsive masturbation. His parents stuck, that what to do with him, meanwhile his mother Lucia Ruffo decided to inform the police, the police sent him to jail for a short period of two months, as masturbation was illegal at the time. With the growth of Godino, his crimes were also growing. He set fire to a warehouse on Coyantz Street, in 1912. On interrogation by the police, Godino revealed that, he set the fire because he want to enjoy as the fireman working. It gives me pleasure, how the firemen fall into the fire. Within the same year a few months later, he set fire to the dress of a five years old child. The child was severely injured and did not recover and died within few days. In the same year September, Godino set fire to a railway station, though the fire was extinguished without extensive damage. In November 1912, Godino tried to choke eight years old Roberto Russo. This time Godino was arrested by the police again and charged with attempted to murder, but he was released until the trial completed. In the same year November, he assaulted a three-year-old, Carmen Gittany, who suffered minor injuries. This time Godino escaped from the police before they arrest him. In the same year November, Godino tried to kidnap the two years old Carolina Neolina, when the kidnapped child cried out and Abe rescued. Later in the same month, he tried to set fire to two large sheds, but the fires were quickly extinguished. In December 1912, Godino selected 18-month-old Gesualdo Giordano, who was playing outside his house. Godino offered him to buy some sweets to convince him to go with him. Providing few sweets then, he offering more, Godino took Giordano to a country house. When they were inside, he threw him to the floor and unsuccessfully tried to choke him with his belt. Then he cut his belt and tied his hands and legs. He started beating him and considered hammering his head. He left the house looking for a nail and saw Giordano's father, to whom he said he did not know where the child was. He then re-entered the house with the nail. He hammered it into the side of Giordano's skull and hid the corpse. The body was found by the father minutes later. Godino went to the wake and touched the skull where he had fixed the nail. In December 1912, he was arrested by police, confessing his crimes. As he confessed, that he had committed his first murder when he was nine years of age. 
He would never know the name of his victim and all that he could remember was that she was a too young girl. Not that this stopped him from carrying her off to an abandoned plot of land, where he buried her alive in a ditch. The body was never found and police were unable to identify the victim. He also confessed to three other murders. He was killing people just for fun. On January 4, 1913, Godino entered a rehabilitation center, where he tried to kill some of the inmates. Due to medical reports, which declared him insane, the judge discontinued the case and ordered him to stay in the rehabilitation center. After two years stay in the rehabilitation center, Godino appealed to be shifted from rehabilitation center to jail. His appeal was approved and shifted to jail. Till March 28, 1923. Godino stayed in the jail. He was then transferred to Ushuaia Penitentiary. Throughout 1933, he spent some time in the hospital for a beating he suffered from inmates after he killed two of their pet cats. From 1935 onwards, he was always ill and received no visitors until he died on November 15, 1944 under strange circumstances. Kindly don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. Thank you for watching this video.